Hey everyone, Jeffrey here. I have this book. It's called 15 Two Voice Inventions for Piano by Johann Sebastian Bach. This was the last book of classical music that I ever used way back in the days when I used to take piano lessons with my teacher, Mrs. Sandra Evans of Sharon, Massachusetts. And I have kept this book. It's it's been 36 years. My last lesson with her was in 1987. That was the last time I saw her. And I've kept this book. It's damn near falling apart now. I, maybe it used to have a cover on it. It's been on my piano for about two or three days and my sons sit here and they destroy everything. I am working my way through one of these two voice inventions as a dedication to my former teacher Sandy Evans, and I'm chronicling this so you can see what practicing is like and how you have to focus and concentrate and stick with it through things that are really hard to ultimately get what you want. Now these 15 two voice inventions, I was learning them after 10 years of having taken piano lessons. You talk to my brother, who's a karate instructor, he says that 10 years is like mastery. If you do something for 10 years, you're a master. I don't consider myself a master of the piano, but I'm going to get back into this and I'm going to record it for you. You can see my path toward reclaiming my former skill. I start one hand at a time. It, ha it helps when you turn the piano on. Here we go. Now I'm gonna to go to the left hand and practice that because putting these things together is tough. bad. Full disclosure, I've been practicing, let's see, it's one, two, three, four, five, six measures. I've been practicing those six measures over the last two or three days. I've had two previous practice sessions just with those measures. And individually, it sounds pretty good. I'm going to try to put it together in a separate video. All right, this is how, this is how we used to practice it back in the day. Take a small group of measures, isolate your hands, then put them together. And you know, from what I can see here, it looks like she, she assigned me double what I just played for one week. So uh, let's see, let's see how I do putting them together, okay? I'll take it. And of course, when you practice, you do it again and again and again. Gee, aha. So back in the day, when I had moved beyond my piano lessons with Sandy Evans and was just sort of playing on my own, 
I became really good at this piece and I could rip through it. And like, I have my camera positioned a little bit off my left shoulder now. I should probably move it a little more, but like I would play it and I could rip through it and like glance up almost at exactly the spot the camera's at as though there were someone sitting there and I was like, hey, what do you think about this? And I don't know if I'm gonna get to that point in this, but I used to be very prolific with this particular piece. And until three days ago, I had not tried to play it in 35 plus years. And what I found as I did this is that I'm getting the chills. My brain and my fingers, my body, remember. And, you know, I just played a couple of times and all of a sudden I'm just starting to flow. It's real muscle memory and memory being realized in real time. And it's a lot of fun. making mistakes, but I'm having fun and I'm going to move on. I only have one or two go throughs at this next part before I got to take the dog to the groomer. But let's see if I can sleuth this out one hand at a time. could see this it would boggle your mind there's all kinds of fingering notations in here and it's like Bleh! all right i'm gonna try the left hand to the second half of the first page of this page and a half composition here we go i'm gonna set this up this is the left hand's a little trickier chills big time because a huge part of what I just did with my left hand was just total muscle memory. My left hand is my weak hand. My whole right side of my body is totally dominant. I'm a totally right dominant person with my hand, with my leg. I played soccer. My right leg was my dominant foot. When I work out now, my balance is much stronger on the right hand side. What I just did with my left hand was so much muscle memory. I had only tried to play that second half of this page one time before I just attempted it. And for me to do it like that, I, it caught me by surprise. Muscle memory. All right, we're gonna do one last go through of each side as the practice this morning. Flip it right over to the left.
So I'm going to pine a little bit here. That was a little bit more of a struggle than the first time I played it. And that's totally cool. Because when you come up against something that makes you struggle, that pushes you to the point of failure, and you can't do it the way it's meant to be done, that's when you know you're in the right place. And that's when you know you need to keep pushing and keep going beyond your current capability to learn what you're trying to do, to figure it out, push through it, and level up. All right, I'm late for the dogs, but I'm gonna do this one time because I wanna record what a total disaster it is the first time I try to put it together and we'll watch the evolution of it together as I, uh, as I start to improve, okay? Here we go, I'm totally unscripted, I'm just riffing here. That's not right. <sighs> the struggle is real. The struggle is real. I'm the type of person I can't walk away from this. And that's another story that I'll have to tell in another video. But I have to keep going. I have to keep playing. I don't care how late with the dogs I am. I'm going to do this again. Wah! My camera! Blah! Composure. better the second time. I, I have to walk away. I'm so jazzed about this. That was so terrible and so wonderful. I hope I get to put this together and slap it up today.